name is Mary Doyle. I am a speech and drama teacher, an actor, a director, and I love live performances. I first came to the Carl Little Theatre in the 1970s. They were such a lovely group, travelling over so many generations. Uh, Mari Moore, Rachel Thorpe, Seamus O'Rourke, Paddy Bean, Joan Aylmer, uh, John Brady, and I felt at home with them. I felt I had met the Carla Little Theatre family. To be an actor, you have to have an ego. You to take that step out on stage, to step across that line, the suspension of disbelief. And yes, you must have an ego to do it. But in a moment, you can be dropped into that excitement when a prop goes wrong, when a line goes wrong, and you can be left bald and naked. And to have that adrenaline rush that you feed off each other and pull one another back up and reality is completely suspended and you perform for your audience and they respond. Well, we always say your favourite production is the one you're in at the moment, if it's worked. And even in all the productions I've been in over, gosh, so many years, you know the night that you've nailed the performance. And when you come off, you just know it. And you will go back out the next night and try to recreate that performance. And you realize the real truth of acting in a drama on stage, that there's no replay, no pause, and you can never recreate that special moment. Oh, the smell of the grease paint, the roar of the crowd, the props, the costumes, the set, the cast, the production. From an audience point of view, I always loved it, even when I was a little girl and when the lights went down. And I always feel on stage too. It's like, get ready, get warmed up, take a deep breath. At that first moment when the lights go up and the set comes alive and you're in the moment and you hold on to it and you stay with it all the way to as best you can. The Plough and the Stars, Bessie Burgess, will just be in my heart always. She was a hard, tough lady living in the slums in Dublin, a Protestant, living in the attic space. I will say it as Paddy would have wanted me to say it on the night, and I always found it so hard. I got this through you, you bitch! <laughs> that was it. Peggy Murphy and Rod Murphy were such stalwarts. If they hadn't found each other, the world would have been a sadder place. But Peggy was directing a one-act play called The Pot of Broth by Shona Casey. And she wanted a hen chicken for the pot, which had to be an old hen. So I procured it from Willie Graham, brought it down for the first night's nice production, told my had it and it was plucked and all of that. So it went on for the first production, which was in Carla Lawn Tennis Club's open week. And we put it on for that night. And the play went on and the props were taken down and taken home and that was that. And then we were told a couple of weeks later that we were put to put it on. We made a session, a season of one act. So this chicken was put into fridges and freezers, left overnight, taken out, put back in again. And that went on for about two months. 
And the final night of the cast production, there was a party in Peggy and Ron's house. And I went up to give her a hand with the preparation and she said to me, here, I've taken that chicken out of the freezer and I've gone with the theme of the play and I've made a, pro a pot of broth. So I tasted and I was not very happy. And as everyone came to the door and they were given their little paper cup, and they said, Peggy and Rod would not have known. They thought it fitted the evening perfectly. And of course, it was a fabulous evening and a great cast party. <laughs>